it's me, Pi, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to do another Shop My Stash. This is the recent Shop My Stash. Um, I'm probably going to upload this Monday. I am filming it on Saturday. And as for my Saturday, it is absolutely pouring snow out my front door. This is ridiculous. It's April. What is going on in the world? But regardless of the situation, and regardless that I am actually filming and I look blue because there is no sun and I have to use, like, you know, lighting in my room, which is always just, uh, blah. When it's white outside, I look so, I look white. Like, I look just look really white and blue and overcast. I'm so sorry about that, guys. So, yes. Today we're going to do Shop My Stash. Of course, I'm gonna bring you into my stash like I always do. If you're a newcomer, I actually will pick up my camera and like vlog style, go into my collection, and then you can, one, take a look, two, recommend things for, um, you know, weeks afterwards if you want me to try something out or whatever because I do Instagram most of my looks. I will do like an Instagram post a week of all five of the looks that I did and, you know, talk about it and all that kind of stuff and then through the week I just kind of talk about you know everything and then if you watch my next stash for the next week you will find out how I liked those products I try to make that as quick as possible this intro probably won't be but yeah if you guys would like to see first like how I felt about last week's stash then that will be coming here and then I will put a timestamp right here to my actual shop my stash all right, let's get into this. Holy All geez. right, guys. So I've actually kind of um, been a turd. If you're a subscriber, I have a haul coming out. It's going to be the next video right after this one. I'm going to try and post this one on Monday. And then on Tuesday, I will post um, this haul because I've got quite a bit of new stuff and some of it I'm actually reviewing this weekend so you'll see some of those reviews come out. Um, a package came like super super late and I'm really bummed about it but if you want to see all the new stuff I usually show the new stuff in my shop my stash but because it's like a substantial amount and there's some things I want to say about the products and I don't want to make this a 3,000 years long watch the my haul I'm going to oh I'm gonna put it up on Tuesday so subscribe to my channel and um, if it's already up like after I post the haul I will link the haul to this video but it won't be up till Tuesday if this is Monday for you all it's not gonna be up till Tuesday all right I have one fail and I'm thinking I'm gonna put my fails in this video as well kind of wrap it all up in one video and I've been using this for probably about a month now it's the Laneige um, lip sleeping mask this is really popular to people and in all honesty this makes my actual lips feel really soft but there is a problem I have been getting like a ton of like little pimples and blemishes around my mouth and they've some of them have been kind of painful when I don't use this it's fine I don't see anything but the second that I put this on my lips and leave it overnight I I'm getting blemishes all around my mouth and it is really really driving me nuts and I've tried to like I didn't use it and then it would they would go away and they would clear up and then I would start using it and then I it's just not good I'm gonna give this to my husband he could get a lot of use out of this his whole type of family like his brother has it too really really bad lips so I'm gonna give that to him and I'm sure he will use it up very quickly he constantly buys lip products like all the time he will spend like ten dollars on a like a, a lip chap at the like grocery store or at the gas station because he can't go a day without lip chap it's insane all right so let's get back into it so that is my only fail for the month I'm going to also kind of like I'm gonna keep this in because I want to use it a few more times and use it with different eyeshadows this is the photo focus eyeshadow primer I'm like 
today, while I'm filming this, I'm going to have the Wet n Wild. Um, I do a full face of Wet n Wild and kind of talk about it. I don't know. I'm not keen on this that much. It seems to like kind of mix weirdly because sometimes I will get like powder or foundation near my eyelid and like on my eyelid. If you've seen me do like a tutorial or anything, I usually kind of dab it around and I never have a problem with like the Urban Decay. I never have a problem with any of the other ones I use, but this one seems to like cake up I don't know. I want to use it completely. Like I want to do my eyes first and see if it works then, but that is what I, I'm, I'm having issues with that. All right. I'm also going to keep the Maybelline Master Prime in there as well and the glitter glue. That's just going to be staples. Like staples are going to be like glitter primers and primers and, you know, like brow products in general. Everything else can be kind of tossed around, but yeah. Anyway, so I did not use the Anastasia Glow Kit. Like, I didn't use it once, I don't think. Maybe I used it once. And I want to keep it in here. I want to, if I don't use it, I am I want to use it. I also did not use the, well, I guess I used it twice. I used it today on this look, actually. My um, ColourPop and Coastal Scents eyeshadow palette. Um, it's just a whole bunch of singles from the palettes that I've got because I... I, I like having them in a big, huge palette, so I have lots of options, especially when I'm doing Shop My Stash. I want to be able to do a lot of things with a smaller amount of products, and I find that I just use the products up faster, and I learn about them, like, because I have to use them for the entire week. Anyway, holy, this is going to be a long-winded Shop My Stash. But anyway, I'm going to put a timestamp, so if you're watching this, you wanted to watch it. <laughs> This is the Sephora Winter Flush Blush Kit. I used this like three or four times. This is awesome. I really, I will link the video that I talked about this. I also talked about the Anastasia Blush Kit with this in that video, and I love this. Honestly, the highlighters are not that like crazy pigmented, and I think that's why they work so well. Usually, like, see... They're not that highly pigmented, and I think that's why it works so well. You just swirl your brush in there, and when you go on the cheeks, it's just a really natural, beautiful sheen. And I used this one today for bronzer. I found that it was a little bit orange. It was a little bit orange, but I did like it. Now, this is about five hours after I put that makeup on, but I, I did like it a lot. I was trying for not so full coverage today. I tried the NARS uh, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I like this, but I just find that when I use foundations like this, I tend to want to powder them quite a lot. I'm not into the super, super dewy skin that's like in trend right now because I feel like I already tend to look a little dewy sometimes. So it just, it drives me crazy. Anyway, I have not used the Kat Von D one yet. I just haven't had a lot of time in the morning, so I've been really using Tried and Trues. This Wet n Wild Brow Kit, I've done my brows with this every single day. I just have not used this shade. It is like black. Like, I don't know how, but I'm going to swatch these for you just to show you because it just kind of weirded me out. I had to wipe those on my shirt. But yes, you have such a dark color with such a light color. So chances are, if I ever finish this, which I will, I do, if I have a brow product I love, I stick to it. And so this will probably be the only thing I use. The wax, I just like it better in a stick. Of course, I always have one of my Milani um, wax sticks. I'm probably going to have to bash into the next one, but I think I have two more after that. I'm not sure if they sell them anymore. I don't know for sure because they were on like serious clearance at my Rexall pharmacy. Anyway, I don't like, I, I'm not big on pomades that I have to like brush on. I feel like when you use this, you can use as little or as much as you want. With this, it's a little bit harder. I don't think it's a bad product by any means, but I just think it takes a little longer, you know, and I just, I want things that are a little more quick. Anyway. I finished up this e.l.f. foundation. I know what this foundation is called. I'm just going to put it right down here. But um, 
it's in a pretty good foundation, but it does have a very interesting smell. And I'm going to buy another one of these foundations. Oh my gosh, did you catch that? I was twisting it. Jeez Louise. Yeah, it just has an odd smell. And I'm definitely going to buy another one just to see if it has that odd smell. But the coverage is really nice for like everyday wear. I do tend to powder, but not with anything that's super, super full coverage. It's really nice though. I had really good luck and I'm pretty much finished. Like when I was using it this week, I was smashing it down and I'm pretty sure there ain't maybe one more application. I need to get one of those, you know, things that you can scratch it out with. <laughs> Anyway, I also use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation a couple times. I just find that I have to powder this with a little bit more heavier coverage powder. You know, it's kind of the same thing with this, but this one I think has a little bit more coverage than this one. But I found a powder this week that is absolutely amazing. Watch my haul. It's a drugstore powder. All the Wet n Wild palettes, this will be the last week that I'm going to include all of these in because I'm going to do a review this weekend on all four of these palettes. I've been using the absolute crazy out of them. I'm pretty sure I've used most of the shades in every single palette. I have a good thought on these shades, these shadows, the formula, all that kind of stuff. Make sure you look out for that. I'm going to try and get that up this like coming week. Hopefully, oh my gosh. And of course, all of my project pans are going to be in here. This is an amazing powder, by the way. If you're gonna set your face with it, it's amazing. If you're going to set your eyes with it, a couple times this week, I was just kind of in a hurry. I set my whole face and it has some coverage, man. This is a great loose powder, the Maybelline Fit Me. I wanna get another one that is even lighter and use this for my face and that for my eyes. It's a really good powder. It's a thicker powder. It's not going to be like very like smooth, but I loved it. Like spray some setting spray. Bam. It's good. Um, I'm going to keep using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Breakout. I did a review, a not so happy review on this, and I want to keep using it because I feel like my acne is getting a little bit better, but I just don't know if this is just a good spot. You know, sometimes I have like a month or or so that it's not so bad, but I want to keep using it. I'm interested to see if it's the retinol that I'm using from The Ordinary or if it's putting this on a lot of days before I put my makeup on kind of as a barrier to those acne spots. We'll see. I don't know. I might have to do a, like a citation at the end of that review. And then, of course, um, ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Amazing. I really had a love for this um, primer this week. I used it pretty much every day. I think I only used the Radiant Primer like once. This is awesome. This is an awesome, so slippery, and I didn't find that my makeup wore off too quickly because it was like a slippery primer all over your face. I kind of like this. This, this, I would make, mm, it's really expensive, and I still have quite a lot left. Like, I probably have like 10 or 20 applications left as long as I keep the lid on really tight. And what is it, 24 months shelf life? Oh, we're good. All right, I think, oh, I did put one of these in. And you know what? I'm going to keep it in this week, but I think I'm going to probably end up, you know what? These need to be thrown away, I think. I think I'm going to try and declutter these. I, I'm going to be really sad. I'll talk to you more about it when I'm in my stash. And I think that's pretty much it, guys. I did end up using the NARS Single Shadow in Him Him Himalaya. Himalaya? It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Those pictures will be up on Instagram. Make sure you check my Instagram. I'm going to keep the cover effects. I want to do a review on that foundation because I have like a huge amount of it so I can try it out for multiple days. That's probably the foundation I'll be trying this week. And let's go into the actual stash. Gosh, if you watched through that, I am amazed. All, All right, right let's guys. Go. I'm going to try not to yell into the mic, but this is my desk. If you've never seen it and this is your first shot my stash, this is the desk that holds all of my makeup so far. I'm going to have to get something new for palettes because obviously I'm never going to stop buying palettes, but I need to get something bigger. So let's go into the first thing I usually go into, which is my, oh, uh-oh, oh, there we go. This is, I'm really thinking about putting all of these into a palette, 
Oh, I don't know. Anyway, so what I'm going to actually use to this week, I want to use this next one. It's in tin. It's so pretty. Oh, gosh. And should I just pick one? You know what? I could try using these. I... I use the um, Wet n Wild Brulee shadow, but this is really similar to that. So, you know what? I'm going to throw that in as well. And then, hmm, here we go. I always try for an eyeliner. I'm going to move this candle because it, it does give off the scent of a lifetime. You know what? Something I will use. This is an Avon eyeliner. Oh, I don't know exactly. Ultra Fine feeling metallic it's so pretty silver and that can go well with that look now what I was talking about in my little speech there is these I really think that these are probably like just not good to have anymore I've had these for a very very long time so I think I am going to toss these in the bin they're just not they're just not safe anymore to be putting around the eyes. I want to go into some bases. I should be using some bases. I have so many of them. Let's see. I got to remember not to yell into the camera. You know what? I'm going to try and pull these two in. This is an essence one, and I can't remember what it's in, actually. Peach Perfect. So yes, it's really pretty. And then I'm also going to throw in an LA Colors in mur, 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 Sandcastle. Easy ones to use. And then I really want some, like, a good concealer this week, but I also, mm, you know what, we're going to go a little bit lighter in the concealer. I'm going to pull in this, this is the um, Color Corrector Cushion by, um, it's so dirty, like, oh god, okay. It always, see, it has this little sponge, which is not that great, like, honestly, I try and clean it, but that's why I tore the sponge off of my uh, age rewind. It's just, it's gross, and I'd rather be able to pump it out on my finger, but anyway, I might do the same thing with this. It does have, like, a, anyway, sorry. I'm gonna throw that in, and I think that'll be good for concealers. Um, hmm. I really like this, and I kind of want a glitter and glow, because I will be getting one from the Sephora VIB sale. Get ready for that next week. I will have my, I just bought everything at once. You know what? I'm going to throw this in as well. So this is a Stila, this is in Kitten, and then this one is in Kitten Karma. This one is a Shimmer and Glow. This one is a Glitter and Glow. I'm going to throw those in there and hopefully I will use them. The primers I'm going to use this week is, you know what? I'm going to keep using the YSL primer and I'm just going to throw in this tiny little, I, do, I just want to get this out of my collection. This is from Smashbox. It's their Photo Finish Matte Primer Stick. I have a tiny little sample, and I really want to use it. I just, I love these little samples because I feel accomplished when I can use up a product. Ooh, let's go into the, I haven't been using these. You know what? I have one in my thing already. That's the one I'm going to use. I'm going to use the Pixi Hydrating Mist. I love it, but I like to change it up a little bit. I want this one. If you watch my haul, you'll find out that the setting mist I bought, well, it just, watch my haul. Watch my haul. Mascaras. I should start taking pictures, but I'm going to grab out these two. This is the um, Stila Huge and the Too Faced. They're pretty much the same, but they're those little minis, and I should start using them up. Oh, let's go into here. Now, I'm going to try and completely finish the e.l.f. foundation as much as I can possibly get. But what's the foundation that I have not used for a while? These ones I really haven't used for a while. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. So I've got two Fit Me um, foundations. And this is what I'm going to try and use this week. This is the Matte and Poreless. And this is just the original, I think. But this one is a little bit lighter. This one's 112. And this one's 230. I like to kind of mix them. The undertones work good for me. Don't ask. Don't tell. <laughs> all right. And then we're going to go into bronzers, blush, highlight, all that kind of thing. And what kind of powder? I'm going 
going to be using a powder that I have already and I have another face powder as well. Hmm, what should, should I pull anything in? You know what, I'm gonna throw in, should I throw in? Yeah, I'm gonna throw in the e.l.f. powder just in case that powder doesn't end up working out that well. And for bronzing, you know what, should, oh, no, I have, I've used that. You know what, I'm gonna throw these two in. I haven't used these yet for a while. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and this is the Tarte um, Hotel Harris. I think, is this the original? I don't know if this is the original or not. Either way, I'm going to use that one. And for blush, I always like to throw in a couple like single blushes. I don't think they get as much love as my other blushes. So let's go this way. Ooh, I love this one. This is in Bella Bellini. We're going to throw that one in. And we're also going to try Party from Tarte. Try. I've used this quite a few times, people. So yeah, it, it's just like a mauve blush. I think they go good on top of each other. That sounds weird. <laughs> I'm going to put in my Hoola Contour Stick. I love this, and I need to start using this more. It was not an expensive product, but it's a good product. So, hmm, what for highlight, ladies and gentlemen? I want to throw in this, though, too. No, you know what? I've had it longer. I'm going to throw in the Anastasia Contour Cream Kit. I need to use this more. Um, I think it may dry out if I don't. And that kind of freaked me out. So it's pretty nice. I do need an oil sometimes. Sometimes the uh, the creams can be a little thick. But I need to start using it or I'm not going to be able to use it. Anyway. I'm just looking around. Ooh, I really want to pull this back out. I love this palette. This is so beautiful. Um, my review is on my channel for that. I will link it. You know what, let's throw this in. I haven't used this in a while. This is the Master Highlight by Maybelline. I'm not gonna throw a whole bunch of stuff. I'm trying not to do that so much anymore. And then we've come at the end. Now, I only have like one palette to use this week that's new. So we're free for all in it. The palette I have is, you know, kind of bright. And I just wanna look through here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to throw this one in. This is the Kat Von D. It is their, her small metal matte palette. I bought this strictly because I love the metal matte palette. I wish she would bring out another one with all the colorful shades in it. We'll see. We'll see. And then let's see. What else do we have back here? The metal palette. I'm looking for some mattes right now. I'm also going to throw in the Too Faced Gingerbread Cookie. Um, I kind of like this set. I don't like all the shimmer eyeshadows, but the mattes are so beautiful. I don't know. This was one of my first high-end purchases ever. So I want to throw that in. It kind of gets some use out of it. I haven't pulled it out in so long. And honestly, I think that's good enough. I'm just going to look in the bottom and see if I have any, like, small matte single palettes. I know I do. You know what? We'll throw this one in. Oh, no, that one's in smoke. You know what? I'm going to throw this one in. This one is in plum, and it's really pretty. There's a lot of mattes in that as well. I don't want to get too overcarried away, but I do want to have a good amount of mattes with the shimmers that I have. So yeah. All right, guys. So that is all about it. Let's just go over to my desk so I can make a quick... All right, outro. I just took like literally 15 minutes to reorganize and regroup because um, after the video I was like, oh, well, you know, I wanted to do this. And anyway, so I also added in, what else did I add in? Um, I also added in two shimmer and glows. I'm not sure if I remember mentioning those. And I also want to take out the Fit Me foundation. I want to use the cover effects like all week long so that I can do a review on it for you guys for next week. So I'm going to take that out and then if I, you know, whatever happens throughout the week, I will finish up the e.l.f. foundation if I, 
you know, if I run out of this or whatever, but I very much doubt there is five milliliters in each one of these little samples. And I think that's amazing that they give out this big of a size because this is like four, five, six days worth of foundation in here. Anyway, I think that's everything. Yes, is that everything? So what you want to do right now is you want to go watch my haul or if you're watching this on the day that this comes out on Monday, wow, thank you so much. And remember to come back tomorrow for the new haul. All right, guys, I love you guys so, so much. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are not subscribed, which I'm guaranteeing that you are not, you need to subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so, so much and have a really wonderful day, night, evening whatever. Bye!